Tonight we're taking a closer look at drug overdoses in central Georgia. Tuesday in Macon, two men died and one woman was hospitalized after apparently overdosing at a North Macon motel. Now we still don't know what type of drug or drugs they were using. Tonight, Ramey Cohen joins us in studio after talking with the North Central Health District workers about local trends. Yes, Frank, I talked to Marissa Cody, the overdose specialist for the North Central Health District. This year, month to month, they've seen a fluctuating number of overdoses overall, but increasingly there's concern over fentanyl overdoses. Marissa Cody with the North Central Health District says in 2021 there were more than 107,000 fatal overdoses nationally. And in Georgia, that 2,390 of them belong to us. According to the Georgia Department of Public Health, all drug overdose deaths in Georgia increased by nearly 56 percent from 2019 to 2021. Opioids, specifically fentanyl, seem to be driving the increases. From 2019 to 2021, fentanyl-involved overdose deaths increased by more than 218 percent. Cody says Bibb saw its first fentanyl overdose cluster back in 2017. Prior to that, I believe it was overdoses of all kinds. Dr. Ali Kamran, Chief of Emergency Medicine at Piedmont, says fentanyl is a powerful drug. Within 30 minutes to an hour, I mean, you will start to see severe, severe symptoms. A big draw for fentanyl is it's much quicker and it's much powerful than your run-of-the-mill opioid. Kamran says, for example, if someone buys a bag of cocaine and it's laced with fentanyl. Their body has never seen this, this uh, substance before. And that's something that can lead to respiratory depression, which, which can ultimately kill the patient. Tripp Talley works as the program director at Macon Recovers. He's battled addiction himself and understands the challenges. Nobody signs up to be an addict. I don't think anybody tries to overdose on a drug. But to see somebody lying there helpless, like it, it's painful. In the last year, Talley says he's lost more than 10 people to overdose. Reaching out to people and offering help, seeing this happen, it's, it's heartbreaking. Kamran and Cody understand drug addiction is hard to beat. With that in mind, Cody offered some tips for users to stay as safe as they can. One, never use alone. Make sure to have Narcan on hand, which treats overdoses in an emergency situation. Don't purchase anything off the street and don't take medication that's not yours. Frank, back to you. Thank you, Ramey. Cody says the North Central Health District provides overdose event kits in high risk areas in Macon, such as hotels. In each kit, you would find two boxes of Narcan, disposable gloves and a CPR mask.